Hi, Kim West, the Sleep Lady, and today I'm going to answer Carrie's question. Here's what she sent in. Hi, my 22-month-old has just started suddenly waking up during the night screaming. She has always woke up happy before. What do I look for when my child starts to suddenly start to wake up during the night when they didn't before? Carrie, this is a great question. Thank you so much for sending this in because I can tell you that you're not alone on this question. So here's a couple of things, about five things that I think of that you as a parent can look for when your child who did sleep well suddenly stops sleeping well. So the first one would be, are they going through any kind of developmental, physical, cognitive milestone? Uh, 22 months, they definitely are. There's lots of separation anxiety, so a lot of emotional milestones. There's also a lot of language milestones. So that could be one. The other one was, um, is she napped well? So she's probably on one nap at 22 months. So uh, how was it? Was it longer than normal, shorter than normal? Has it been a few days with a poor nap? Because then it becomes cumulative. In addition, uh, were there any changes in bedtime, either in too late, too early, or something big and changed like in her room? Um, I had one mom who could not understand why she was having all these problems with her child's sleep at night until she figured out it all started when she put new curtains and a new valance in the room. And when she took them down, the child went back to sleep. I think they were creating a, a, like some kind of scary shadow in the room. So look for those kind of things. And then you also want to look for any underlying medical conditions, allergies, asthma, enlarged tonsils and adenoids, things that can cause um, sleep apnea, and of course, if they're just ill. So lots of times we don't always know when our children are sick until maybe the next day um, after they might have woken up the night before. And then the other thing is kind of deciding whether your child had night terrors or nightmares. Usually night terror occurs within the first two hours of going to sleep um, and they, uh, the child actually is asleep but they don't look like it. Um, they're really, they're screaming and inconsolable. Actually the less you do the better so that you don't lengthen it. Um, just go in and reassure them as best as possible and really make sure they're safe. And then look to whether you put your child down too late, because that's the number one cause of night terrors, uh, is sleep deprivation. So going to bed too late or poor naps. So maybe try to move the bedtime earlier, even by 20 minutes. Okay, I hope that list helps.